Hello and welcome to another episode of Playtime with Sorrow Crossout Edition. Oh, I can't get comfortable. Um, today we're going to play around with the auto build feature. If you look down here, you got your Leviathan thing, you got your. Uh, yeah, so there it is right there. You got a gear with two little intertwined arrows. Now, over here beside it, you can choose what you want it to use in certain premises, like, uh, let's say 25, no, let's say 1,500, and up to 2,500, okay, and then save that. And now we hit this and see what it does for us. Wow. Okay. It has. Wow. Okay, this is something I gripe about. Right here. Right here. Now, when you use the auto build feature, which is great to use if you just want like kind of a template to build from you can go in and you can change whatever you don't like about it like first off I don't like the fact that they side mounted the only freaking gun on the whole car this, this is one of my pet peeves really it's never side mount swivel machine guns like that no, because see this, you have a 360 radius to fire. Side mounted like that, you couldn't hit something over here or over here. You know, so, I mean, it's just not smart to do that. Um, I don't know how I feel about these, to be honest. That's weird. But let's test it out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so they still work slightly. Why would you do this, though? Yeah, I don't like the wheels on this. Look at that wide turn. The cord is kind of weak as well, so... It's like out of all the choices I would have, I don't think I would do this. Okay, so let's try again. Because you can do that. <laughs> you just sit back and wait for it to do your building for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <coughs> what is that? this one either Ooh. <coughs> it looks like what is that Lupra all right well since I always give things a chance see we got something dragging down here what's dragging Well, they gave me some good turning. Yeah, that's a little bit. Okay. <coughs> a little bit more deadly. Not quite what I would do. Ooh. 
Anyways, you get the point. Okay, now, let's mess around with this. Let's say 3,500. Okay, say. See what it gives us this time. Oh my lord. Why are you going to mount that gun like that? Okay, hold up. We're going to put this in the middle there. Because we can't. Um, I have questions. Like, what have we done here? Is there anything undermounted? No. What's in the back? Okay, so I have, wait a minute, what is that? Why do you have a breeze with a nidhogg? It makes no sense. Let's take that out of there. And we'll put... A fuel barrel in instead. Yeah. A breeze does not help a Nidhogg. A Nidhogg is a reload weapon. So, a... that's a little weird, too. That's weird. I don't know. Okay, let's try that. Oh, look at that wonky turning. She got freaking... Oh, goodness. I do apologize. My game sound has gone out. That's a little weird. Speed's pretty good for this. I mean, for what it is. It's not exactly a great build, but like I said, we're just playing around with it to see what we can do. Or what the computer can do. Yep, a single Nidhogg. You could probably dominate the 3000 category with this. I don't know. 3000 power score, excuse me. We'll go see. Mm -hmm. Well, I just... There's so many things I don't like about it, though. Like, the front wheels are just wonky. That's weird. And I think I would make these back here STs as well. Because, well, let's, uh, let's do a patrol with it, see what happens. Now, I believe once you get to 3,000, you're dealing with some cannons out there. So, this may be a short match for me. Mm. And we're just going to keep moving up. And power score just to see what happens. Oh, goodness. This is basically using just the auto build thing. Um, you know, when you're first starting out, you know, you're still trying to learn, you know, how the parts work and everything. This is an excellent way is to go in and use the auto build thing and then dissect what they've built so that you can see how they did it and that gives you more and more ideas you start learning about contact points and things like that with the parts and it's really it's interesting sometimes the things that they come up with um, that it comes up with it's not like there's a person doing that it's an actual just like a script or something running um, 
So it's not, I mean, it's not a bad thing to just go in there and just play around with that sometime. Um, hmm. You know, sometimes it's, uh, it helps pass the time. It helps train you as far as building, like I said. And sometimes it gives you something cool to work with. You know, as far as winning matches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, range on it is not quite there. All right, let's see how we do. I think before the next video that I make, I'm probably going to go in and fix the sound issue because... This is ridiculous, not being able to hear the battle. That's weird. Um, yeah, let's see what we do here. This is not really a sneaky build. See, there's some cannons there. They all pretty much line up and do that. Gotcha. Come on, jump that bridge, Claudia. Come on. Come on over, Claudia. I probably don't want Claudia here. Ooh. Thank you. That's so kind. Let's get close enough and boom. Gotcha. There. Cool. And there we go. I'm kind of over my bat my bonus. So let's come out there. So okay, it was battle tested and everything. It did pretty well. Let's go to 4500. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Sometimes it freaks out. Like it just did. Um, yeah, let's do that again. Come on now, give me something. That is mounted so wrong. This is a learning experience right here. Never mount a drill or two on an engine. Engines are notoriously easy to pop off. Now what happens when they hit that engine? You lose your engine and your weapons. Not good. You would bring that down and at least have part of it on the frame. If you were going to do this. I wouldn't do this at all, but if you were going to do that, that's what you would do. Oh, it's got stealth. So they do have a purpose here. But yeah, never never attach anything to an engine. An engine is so brittle. And uh yeah. Um let's see. What is that hitting at? That's at twenty five fifty seven. I wanna go higher. Come on, give me something bigger. Something more deadly, come on. Again with the side mount crap. Especially a shotgun. Ah, oh, Lord. Okay, but I think we can fix this. Okay. I think we can fix this one. Yeah, because I like the look, really. So, we're going to go in. Alright, this thing... is moving up here.
we're at 3901 with this even like this it's kind of uh, cringe I don't know no. I mean I could put it if I even have this could put it back here but if you do that you know what let's just lose the equalizer there we go we're at 3076 right there okay well, let's look at the back because you never know what they do here Oh, that's not bad. It's actually, like I said, I kind of like the. It's a charming little build. Yeah. With a freaking knit hog. Um. Let's see. So it was a what thirty nine oh one. So mm -hmm. let's see. We've got four energy to use. So with the four energy to use. I'm going to come in here and throw my Doppler on. Yeah. That's 3551. But I can see inside and outside the buildings. Everybody on the map pretty much with that. So that's cool. And let's test it. Oof, a little slow. It's okay. First off. Why is my shotgun on the wrong button? Oh, goodness. I gotta go fix that too, which will be something else. It'll show you something else. Oh, goodness. Really? It takes two shots with a net hog? Hmm. Okay, so anytime you have button issues, it's going to show all of your weapons or anything button based right here with this little gun icon, this weapon icon. So you're going to want to go in there. Like, I don't like it on the right mouse, so I'm going to put it back on the left mouse. And that's going to change that. And then you just click that to get that out of your way. Um, yeah. Let's go. Oh, here we go. All right. Fighting the bots. Let's do it. Not the fastest vehicle. But this front, but yeah, this front end in particular is good at taking some hits. to kill thieves in here. Alright, we're crawling, but it's okay. <clears throat> I 
All right, now let's move this up to, say, 8,000. And then we're going to change this one to 13,000. There we go. Save. <clears throat> now let's see what happens. Famous last words. Ooh. Oh, wow. Sometimes it gets jammed, too. Like, what the heck is that? Um. Okay. What on earth? Look at this. What is that middle tire deal? What What did they do? That is the weirdest body. That is one weird body. We're using the werewolf. I've got so many questions about this. Like, wow. Okay. Let's break it down. Let's see. We've got, oh, that's just a regular Bigfoot. ST, ST, okay. You gotta check these things, you never know. <coughs> ST, ST. But the one in the middle is just regular. Okay, we've got stealth. We've got our radar. We've got our engine. But the only weapon here that I see is the harvester. Is there something else that I'm not seeing? No. There's nothing else. Just the harvester. So, what is the deal with this? And this is 8395 power score? It would get eaten alive. So, okay. So let me do this. We're just gonna, gonna take that off. And throw a skinner down. Uh oh. Is that not gonna. <coughs> See, I don't get why it won't. Well, it will, kind of. It would sit right on top. That's no good. Alright, so we're going to have to build a platform for the Skinner. Hold up. Okay, first off, this right here. That's got to go. Okay, we'll do something else with that. Um, now let's put the Skinner in. Will that work? What is down there? What is that? Is that not a piece of frame? What is that doing there? Get that out of there. Yeah, now the Skinner sits a lot more firmly. But it's still, I don't know. So now we've used 9 of, 15, 9 of 16 energy. So, what do we do up here? Hmm. Well... We could, but I wonder, do these point down at all? I don't think that's a good idea. Wait a minute. Hmm. I still don't think that's a good idea. Like, not really at all. But, wait, we're at 13 of 16. Those take four points of power. Okay, so, 
Yeah, not a good idea. Okay, let's take. Uh, what are we going to put up there? That would be three. <coughs> <coughs> three each. Uh, let's see, that's four. That's three. That's three. I'll put a couple equalizers up there. Not the strongest thing, I know. This is kind of a junk build. But it is what it is. Um, well, let's test it out. Oh, God. No, hold on. Let me rework my buttons. Okay, so those would be right. This is going to have to be left. Chameleon, yeah, that's good on that. Okay. Now let's test it out. Yeah, okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> so we harvested it. I mean, we hooked it. Now we're harvesting and shooting at the same time, I guess. Yeah, okay. That works. Boy, those are weak. Wow, you just kind of pull it in. Like, ah, I got you. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay. Can it pull a bus? It can. Skinner. That's okay, because we don't have to have it. That's right, I lost my skin or whatever, I think. Gotcha. Gotcha. There's a third one, right? Somewhere. Or did I kill three already? I may have killed three already. Oh, there's one. Wow, this thing moves pretty darn fast. That might be his strength. Ooh. 
Look at how fast it moves. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Well, let's take it to patrol and really give it a test. Now, this is um, a very interesting build. <laughs> I might keep it and enhance it. I might lose the Skinner and maybe put like two Fafners up there or something like that. That would be cool. I think I can do that. I don't know. Still might not have enough for that. I don't know. Yeah, that would be eight points. If you lose the Skinner, that's going to add two. If you lose the two equalizers, that's going to be six. Six plus two is eight. It would be just enough. And then put two Fafners up there if they'll fit. And that would be kind of a cool build. I don't know how durable it is, but I love the, the body design. That's weird. It's kind of like a spaced armor, but not quite. If that makes any sense. I don't know. But we're going to see. See if it's got any lights on it. No, I took the lights off. Okay. Well, let's go get these bad guys. This thing's going to get eaten alive. I just got that feeling. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello there. Let's go down here to see what we got. Oh, there's two of them. Get off me. He's knocking the crap out of me, though. Okay. I'll take it. I mean, you know. I got, what was it? Did I even get a kill? No, I got two assists. Alright, I kind of like that, but um, let's see what we can do here with this up here. Let's uh, take these off. Right? And we're going to replace those with these. Oh, yeah. Got to lose the Skinner in order to do that. There we go. Now. Now we need to put something there to guard that engine. So now we go in here. And we get, say, I don't know. Um, hmm. Still want to make it pretty. So we'll take this little Nomad Hump thing. Yeah. We'll do that right there.
Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's going to obstruct my fastener fire, so let's not do that. Mm. What about that? golden rules and I didn't even realize it. You always want to make sure that your weapons are the same color as the rest of your vehicle. I think everything is this color. Which is fine. That's fine. Alright, now I've got double fafners on there. So, let me go back in there. But right now, let's go ahead and test drive it. Patrol soon. Again, I do apologize for the battle sounds being gone. Um, before the next video, I will fix that. All right, here we go. to attack. <clears throat> okay. Oops. Sorry, Nikki. And that's going to get me killed, isn't it? Yep. Well, I really hate when that happens. Boom. Got my damage in anyway. Oh, well. That sucked. I want that camo, but I missed that event, so I'll probably never get that camo. Hmm. It's not looking like we're going to win. Ouch. We might. Ooh. Okay. Well, we've got that guy in there, so maybe he'll... <coughs> Ethan needs to get out of his way, though. I really sometimes feel like we do not have, we have too many weapons in this game. Way too many weapons. For a newer player, that has to be overwhelming, to say the least. this guy at? Uh, 
Oh, you found him. Oh, okay. <clears throat> cool. Let me just jump to stats real quick. Uh, yeah. I got three assists. Hey. That's not bad, considering. I got taken out pretty early. Of course, I'm no great player, but still. That was, uh... You know, I might kick... I, yeah, I might keep this build and just build it up. I kind of like it. I love the speed of it. And I never thought about that right there. There's so many interesting things that they did with this. Like the wheel in the middle there. I have no idea. Maybe that's to handle the weight. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I think next time we're going to get into altering faction builds. To suit your own. Um, anyways, if you like what you saw... Leave a like. Yeah, best subscribe. That way you don't miss a single episode. And I will see you next time. Bye.